Hi, and welcome back to Ask a Pennsylvania Dutchman. My name is Chris LaRose. This here is Douglas Maidenford, and he is our resident Pennsylvania Dutchman. How are you, boo? Ready to go. All right. Anything you want to say before no, we get going? No, no, I save it for the question. Oh, all right. Well, we have a question from Susan Westfall of McCungee, Pennsylvania. Susan wants to know, now that I'm in my old age, 72, that ain't old that yet, ain't by old the way. You ain't even nope. broke in yet. Nope, nope, nope. I really wish I had asked my grandparents to teach me some Pennsylvania Dutch. I love listening to you two and some of the phrases you throw out. But I do have a question. Doug, every now and then you say something that sounds like Yamaye. Can you tell me what that means? I'm really looking for, uh, for some phrases I can use on a casual daily basis thanks so much i love your show it really oh. cracks me up she loves our show oh, man. well let's start <clears throat> what was her name susan susan, susan. Westfall. yama yay the phrase yeah you heard me say that i, I usually i say i yama yay yama comes from the word yamara which means to lament or to to bemoan something so we have the phrase i yama which is like this oh my goodness but it also can be in, in like a little bit of surprise, like I yama yay, oh my oh my gosh. It's a great phrase. That's one you can work in everyday conversation all the time. Anywhere. That's that's easy. You get the mail, there's five bills in the mail, you say oh, I yama, yama yay. yay. Yeah, for sure. And what other words? Well I've I've used this one a lot too, and this is one that is so easy to start using, and that's gel. Mm -hmm. Gel, you can use in a lot of different situations, but the best way is you're talk I'm talking to Chris, and I'm saying like, now Chris, this is what we're gonna do, Gel, yeah, yeah. which is like this, like right, or you know what I'm talking about, Gel. Mm, yep, <clears throat> that's an easy one to to throw in there as well. What else can you think of? Gukumal mm -hmm. is another one. Gukumal means look. So you're you're you know you're having a conversation with someone, you want them to look at something. Hey, Gukumal or Gukumal. Mm. Cook them all. Yeah, that's a good phrase. You can use that in everyday English. What else? Well, I don't know. Well, come on now. Yusht is yusht a lot. Yusht. Yusht means like... Just. Just. Yeah, instead of saying just, someone says... Uh, yusht well, you know, do you, that once. Yeah. Yeah, or like you're at supper and they want to give you a little bit more mashed potatoes <coughs> or something. You say, yusht a little bit. Just a little bit. Yush Gleipizl. Yeah. Gleipizl. That's another phrase you could use. That means just a little. Mm -hmm. Like well, a little. Gleipizl. Like a little bit in a mind or something. Not like in size. Yeah. Mm. Well, those are just ones that come to the top of my head. That's a good one to get started. I think so, too. We got Yama Ye, I Yama Ye, uh, Gleipizl, Yusht, Gukmal. Mm-hmm. Gel. Mox good, of course. <clears throat> I mean, yeah, whenever you want to say goodbye to somebody, don't say goodbye anymore. Just say mox good and then walk away. Mm hmm. Yeah. Oh, gel. Yeah, gel. Yeah, and it goes back to we did a video on uh, what was that? Uh, oh, a couple months ago, we did a video where you told me that if you can only think of the <clears throat> Dutch phrase, that's what you gotta use. That's well, how this we is, take the language. That's back. right. So this is an example. You start using these phrases, and, and then we'll we'll steal the it's, language it's back. Mu from... It's muscle memory. Mm -hmm. You use them enough, then you're gonna get in a situation. You you'll get into situations where that'll be the only phrase you know, like gel mm -hmm. or or you know yama ye, that you won't even think of using the old English phrases that you were using. Mm -hmm. And that's the way we win the game. Yes, it is. Sooner or later, it'll all turn into Dutch. How wonderful would the world be? Yeah. I'm telling you. If we use these things every every now and then, first you replace one word in a, in a phrase with a PA Dutch word, and then it's two and three words, and then no. you just refuse to speak English. And eventually, we'll get them. The world's ours. Who are we then. getting? All them, Doug. All them. Who, we'll make PA Dutch the the trade, the language of trade. Yeah, trade bro. <laughs> yeah, well, it's, okay. yeah, it's well, a no, slow yeah, plan. You know, it, it takes a while. That's like glacial speed, though. <laughs> it takes some commitment, but commitment. Who, who better? better? You're talking who? like. Generations would have to do this. Well, you know how. Well, here's the problem. What's that? Now I'm gonna get a little angry <clears throat> now. Uh oh. For multiple generations here in America, our forefathers, those people hanging on the wall in the pictures behind me, 
They didn't speak English right away. Nope. They only spoke Pennsylvania Dutch. And like you said, after a while, the English language started creeping in and creeping. Sometimes it was pushed in. Sometimes it was forced in. And then it got to the generation of World War II, post-World War II, the baby boomers. Then all of a sudden, it was more English than Dutch. And, you know, that that went fast. That change went real fast. Like two generations, three First generations. First it was just look, the bissel, then the, it was the whole thing. What you're talking about is not possible in two to three generations. Well, I'm, I'm not going saying. to make that That's statement. how you win. You know, a water droplet dripping on a rock will eventually make a hole, but it'll take time. But who better to do it than the PA Dutch? Now, I've, I have found... Every journey of a thousand miles starts with one step. I'll tell you how what. How many more cliches? I'll can tell you, you what. I'm still holding grudges from my great, great, great grandparents. Well, yeah, you have to. Because we're committed. We made a commitment. That's that's stick to itiveness there, Doug. Gel? Gel. For, yeah. For, 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 I'm sorry. Yeah. Well, oh, there's another phrase, say. but that one <clears throat> swears a little bit. I don't know if Susan wants to be swearing or not. Susan, <laughs> if you want the R rated version of this video, you have to pay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't man, know. You something. know. Yeah, stick to itiveness, but I'm talking, man, you are really looking down the road. Well, it, it just comes down to marketing, Doug. Everything Ooh. is marketing. If you convince people that their life will be better and that they need to do it, they're going to do it on their own, you know? Well, I can tell you for a fact that I feel better <clears throat> personally when I'm speaking Pennsylvania Dutch. Mm-hmm. It improves health, I'll tell oh, you it, what. Oh, it turns my fron upside down. It sure does. I could be having a really crappy day at work because but I work with teenagers. You let a, but I you come let a home, Dutch word fly and then that's I come bit home better. and my little son comes up to me and says uh, something in Pennsylvania Dutch. That just makes my day. Everything that happened to me before that moment is gone. Every PA Dutch word is a pound off your shoulders. It is, and... <clears throat> It lowers my heart rate. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's healthy. These smart watches, they should have a PA Dutch app. Yeah, they got like, a little meter yeah, on when, them you, when it says, like, you, you can see, hit, like... You, you hit just enough. Yeah, like, you know, like my Apple Watch, you, you close the rings when you're walking or when you get your heart rate up or all these things. But that'd be one that you have, like, every day you have a quota of Pennsylvania Dutch words you have to use to close that ring. And then every week you make that number a little bigger. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you what, buddy, it is all about marketing. And, <clears throat> and reward, you know. If it's we, reward. If you're damn right. If we, you know what we ought to do, Doug? We ought to make an advent calendar with PA Dutch phrases. So now if you got if you got this little advent calendar and maybe 40 different words to PA Dutch phrases with a little chocolate behind that tear tab, you're darn well going to say that word. You're going to think, oh, I said yush today. There's a, there's a Wilbur bud for me. I said... I said gal twice, I better open up two of them, you know. You're on to something. Buddy. I know I am. That's this why might be I the, said this it, might Doug. be one of the best ideas you've ever had. <clears throat> the Dutch advent calendar. It's well yeah, hard. or yeah, I, I agree. The I Dutch ad word calendar. You, as soon as you tell <laughs> ad advent. As Ed soon went. as you give somebody a reward, it's like Pavlov's dogs. Mm -hmm. We can train people to start salivating when they speak Pennsylvania Dutch, just like Pavlov did it with his dogs, you know, the bell and all that stuff. Well, and it doesn't I, even have to be chocolate behind no. it. It could just be a little, uh, a little uh, bit of scrapple or something. Well, it could be anything, sure. A little scoop of sauerkraut. Or instead of rings that are filling up on your watch, it's like pieces of shoe fly pie. It's a, it's a quarter and, of a hex sign. Or a hex sign, yeah. <clears> you got to fill... Every day you gotta fill your hex sign in. Mm hmm Fill those hex signs. This stuff doesn't exist. So we have to do it ourselves. Mm -hmm. Right? There ain't no way that Apple is gonna start making these types of apps for us. Well, if there's we, enough of us. We will. need to do it ourselves and it's all in our hands. Mm -hmm. Stick to itiveness, set a goal of every day I'm gonna use five Pennsylvania Dutch words throughout the day. So we got and then Gel, you we started you off. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Abyssal. Yeah, so there you go. That was another And one. then do a whole week of five words a day. <clears throat> and then the next week, move it up to eight words. You got to take these small steps. You mm -hmm. can't go, I'm going to use a hundred words today. That gets unattainable for people. And then mm -hmm. they quit. So you do little increments. Five words a week. Then maybe eight words a week. And the hell, by the time you're at the end of the month, you might be up to 25, 30 words a week. Now mm -hmm. think about that. 
That's no Thank choke. You. That is no choke. Nope. Mm -hmm. Good one. Make yourself some flashcards with the five words you want to use. And then you, you, you put them in your pocket. And or, when you're not thinking about it, you pull one out. I'm telling you this reward thing. If you bake cookies with the word written on it. But you can't eat the cookie till you've used it. Mm -hmm. Maybe one bite per use or something. Yeah. It, you'd be surprised how fast <clears throat> you learn stuff too that way. Oh, yeah. Once again, we are giving you valuable life advice. Mm-hmm. Valuable life advice. Valuable life advice. <laughs> well, yeah. anything else, Douglas? N no. No, no! Get out there and do it! Just do it! And don't be afraid. And don't say, oh, I can't, I won't be able to do it. Don't shoot yourself in the foot before you start. Just, Just mach us. Do us. Yeah, mach us. That's our advice for you today. Mm -hmm. Susan grows dung. Thanks well, a now, lot. Well, now, what if we did a t shirt that said, You should do it? I think Nike would sue us. You should mock us. I think Nike, because that's their slogan. Then, well, not if it's in Dutch, Doug. Not if we put a little horseshoe or something. A little lopsided horseshoe and a you mock us. We'll think about it. Yeah, I'm, I'm all about this. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right, we're in. Let keep, us know if you want Just keep one. speaking <clears throat> your Pennsylvania Dutch. Mm-hmm. We'll take the language back. Take it all back, baby. Mm-hmm. All right, Bruda. One gal at a time. One gal at a time. Susie, Susan, sorry. Thanks for your question. If you have a question, email us. You know what to do. Well, you're, now they're going to hear it twice, Doug. It's the same thing we're talking about. If you hear it enough, then it sticks. Oh, well, if you have a question, why you gotta email us at busterpa.yahoo.com. Yeah. Did you know that if you have a question, <clears throat> you can email us at busterpa at yahoo.com? Well, why wouldn't you just email at us? That's a good at question. Busterpa at yahoo.com with a question. That is a, that's a great idea. I'm glad you thought of that. Oh, I know. Yeah, why would you do that without me, Doug? If <laughs> I find out every week. All right. Well, you heard it from the Dutchman. And this guy. And, and this guy. And this guy with his fancy hat. Yeah, well, I made this he, You did make it. I know. We'll I have to. It. Yeah, I know. All right, well. Okay. All right, until next time. <laughs> Mark's good. good. Right, if you have a question, you have to email us at busterpa at yahoo.com.